Denim and denim was originally worn by miners in the late 1800s. At that stage, denim was strictly a protective garment. Denim on denim is about attitude, so you've got to own the denim on denim look. There's lots of options, like mix it, light and dark, distress, not distress, different silhouettes. It's pretty simple. This is what people think about when we talk about denim on denim. It can just look really easy and modern. The simplest thing to do is just pair it up with a pair of white sneakers. It doesn't all have to be brand new like this. You can do it like with all black, but it's all just about wearing one tone. Light and dark, simple as that. I think this is a great place to start if you're nervous about the Canadian tuxedo. You can wear it with a t-shirt, you can wear it sweatshirt, hoodie. You could wear an oversized light jacket with a pair of skinny black jeans, or you could wear a big, huge pair of jeans with a tight little denim jacket. It's about contrast colors. Every guy should own a black denim jacket, a blue denim jacket, and a black pair of jeans and a blue pair of jeans, because you've already got four outfits right here, all black or all blue, as well as the kind of dark, light combinations that we're wearing. Here is a kind of streetwear way of wearing denim on denim. It really creates something else with the sharper collar and the sharper lining. Even though we're looking at two blue shades, there is enough contrast that creates something that's a bit simpler and easier to wear. This is an alternative to like a suit jacket. I think it's interesting with the white shirt and then the white stitching in the jacket it gives this element of freshness and then the more beat up, distressed jeans tone it down a little bit. And what's really interesting about this look is the turn up and the sockless look. Denim on denim is easy. Just think about mixing it up. There should definitely be no rules to how we wear denim. That's just gonna limit our options and it's gonna cramp our style.